Hey everybody, it's dinner time for me. I'm gonna show you what I'm whipping up. So this is not a strict recipe by any means, but it's some inspiration to build your own Buddha bowl. And I've done a cooking demo that's very similar to what I have in front of me with plenty of colorful vegetables, a protein source, some fresh toppings, seeds, greens, a grain. You can use whatever you have on hand or whatever you like. I'm gonna go for just about every color I could find in my fridge with a grain source as my base. I'm gonna use wild rice and I'm preparing it with some coconut milk tonight. This is one of my favorite treats is coconut milk rice. It's so creamy and rich, super yummy. And because I'm balancing the meal with lots of fiber and phytonutrients, there's no meat product here or cheese or other saturated fat source, I feel okay using coconut milk in my rice as a base. It all balances out, right? So just make the best call for you. But a really tasty rice is this Lundberg's Wild Rice Blend. You can also use brown, you could use quinoa, you could use sweet potato or purple potato if you're looking for more color as a starchy base. I'm gonna add some steamed kale, so I'll just make this on the stove with a little broth or water, pop a lid on it for a few minutes just until till it gets soft and tender. My protein source tonight is gonna to be tofu, and I'm gonna season it with curry powder, a little oil, pepper, and either saute it or roast it. I'll probably roast it on a baking sheet. But what I've done prior to me videoing this is put the two blocks of tofu between a tea towel, and then I placed my cutting board on top and a heavy weight. I had like a 15 or 20 pound sandbag. Um, so bringing your fitness equipment into the kitchen to press the tofu. So you want most of the moisture out of the tofu when you're roasting or baking it, it gives it a better texture and a less um, soft end result. You'll get rid of the water and so it'll crisp up a lot nicer. This is completely soaked with the water from the tofu. So I let it sit probably for about a couple hours. Um, if you don't have time to do it, doesn't doesn't matter, you can bake it anyways. It'll still taste yummy, but this is a good trick to get the moisture out so it gets a little more crispy. I'm gonna season that with my curry powder. Really beautiful flavors. If you don't have a pre-made curry, you can buy the ingredients. I think I tore the label off. I can post it for you. Um, combination of turmeric and some other spices that you might have on hand. I'm gonna roast some carrots. They're one of my favorite roasted vegetables. I seasoned these with a little salt and pepper, some chipotle pepper powder, garlic, and cumin just to give them a really warm, lovely flavor. I'll roast those in the oven. I'm also gonna saute some red onions and red pepper. I really like peppers and onions sauteed together. So I'll do that in my cast iron. You could also roast these, that would be tasty. And then we'll top with some fresh avocado, fresh tomato. I grated some red cabbage as a nice bright crunchy texture on top, some fresh cilantro, sesame seeds for some more texture, and I might make a little dressing with some lemon juice and tahini. But all together, this comes to be a really beautiful, colorful, very filling meal. So even for my meat lovers, make a plant-based meal this week and add all of your favorite vegetable ingredients. You can also make a bowl with pre-roasted vegetables that you have on hand. So I like this recipe because you can make it at the beginning of the week and then add the components throughout the week, change the dressing, change the greens, whatever, to make it sort of new and fresh tasting, but you could batch cook a lot of this stuff. So I'm gonna get started. Wanted to show you the groundwork here. It's gonna be really tasty. I'm preparing my tofu here. So I just took the blocks and I cut them up into little they're not officially cubes, but little chunks. You can cut them however you like, um, just pretty evenly so that they all bake the same. And I put them in a large mixing bowl. I'm gonna add my curry powder first and then drizzle with some olive oil and toss in the bowl before I add to a baking sheet to put in the oven. 
Okay, I wanna show you how easy this is. If you have a nice bowl, I just put about three teaspoons of curry powder in for my two whole blocks of tofu. And if you just gently shake it, you will evenly coat the tofu without doing a lot of damage. Tofu is pretty delicate, so be gentle with it, otherwise it will break and crumble. I buy an extra firm tofu typically when I prepare it in a, um, a fashion like this, but easy to coat something evenly with all of the spice if you just toss in a large mixing bowl. So I'm gonna put on a baking pan. I put some olive oil in this already, but I just drizzled a little extra on the pan to prevent the tofu from sticking too much. Just some olive oil. You could use avocado. I've previously made a curried tofu with um, coconut oil. And if you're not already using it for the rice, I would say that's also a delicious option for this. So I'm gonna just shake it until they're all lying about flat so they get nice and brown and pop it in the oven. Look at all that awesome color, what I love to see. So I have my oven on 400 degrees. I put both my carrots and my tofu on a baking sheet in the middle of the oven and I'm gonna roast them probably 30 to 45 minutes. I'll check in and see how they look. I'll toss the carrots and try and flip the tofu so that both sides get a little bit crispy. Um, when those are mostly roasted, I'll then start the onions and the peppers because they don't take very long at all. This will be last just to steam the greens. And I already have my rice going. I started this um, before I chopped everything so it could go in the background. Um, so that should be finished when we're done with everything else. Okay, so I decided on a cilantro lime ginger type vinaigrette. We'll see how this turns out. This is what I'm going to use. Some fresh ginger, garlic, lime, olive oil, honey, cilantro, a little bit of white vinegar, some salt and pepper, and I'm going to use this Ninja food processor um, to combine it all into a dressing. So you don't need to pull out a big blender here if you have a small... Um, food processor or like a Nutribullet, it's gonna make only about a cup and a half of liquid, so that's perfect for what's in here. And you can actually keep it in this container with a lid on in the refrigerator for the rest of the week. So a little less cleanup there. But this should be really tasty and complimentary with our curried tofu. These flavors all go really well together, so I think this will be yummy. So everything's in my container here. I'm gonna blend this until it's smooth. Okay, checking in on my stuff in the oven. It's been about 30 minutes. So I tossed the carrots with the spatula. I did the same to the tofu, just to more evenly cook. I'll leave those in there for probably 15 more minutes, but they're most of the way done. So I started my peppers and onions on the stove. They're getting nice and tender. The rice has finished cooking. It's just depressurizing, so that will be ready. And then I'll steam my kale, and we already prepped our dressing. So 15 or so more minutes, we're ready to go. Fini, everything's done. So I like to just lay everything out so that whoever you're feeding can build their own bowl. Start with a grain, some of the greens, and top with the other roasted vegetables and the tofu. There's our vinaigrette and the red cabbage to go on top. A little sunflower seed and fresh avocado. Beautiful, colorful, very filling and nutritionally balanced. Happy Earth Day.